videos are finally coming! What's going on do it yourself first thanks for watching DIY by Eric Barnes let's go ahead and dive into this build of an IBC container chop and flip aquaponics system uh, I actually helped my buddy Zach build this thing a year and a half ago so yeah I just bought it from him and transferred it over here made some changes and some additions let's go ahead and get in the build for those of you that have been waiting for this video I'm sorry it took so long Go ahead and make sure that you do subscribe though, because I got like eight more videos coming out rapid fire right now. Super exciting things going on in the fish room. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Definitely start with the lights and planning your electrical. I learned this one the hard way, you'll see that. Uh, from there, you'll see how simple this is. It's literally an empty IBC tub that we thoroughly cleaned and it was food grade quality. And we just chopped it in half. And then I flip it upside down and I put it inside now i don't have video of it because we did a long time ago but you can see i did install drains they're just about two inches high I just dr dr drilled a hole and uh then it drains directly underneath you'll see i am going to put a pre-filter into the system this is going to keep all of the solids solids and gunk uh anything that could build up in the system uh out of the system it starts with two fx6 canister filters really simple i'm going to put in some more filter pads from there that's just a cycled sponge then i'm going to toss in some random stuff like uh old plant that i don't want to use anymore uh, and then i'm gonna toss in maybe some gravel i think i'm doing right now and then a whole bunch of the bio balls which i scoop out from time to time uh and clean uh, clean up and then put back in that just keeps more strenuous uh, maintenance from happening as frequently i do have to bring it out about every six months it does weigh hundreds of pounds once you have filled it up so you don't want to have to rerun electrical behind wherever you have it or else this will happen <laughs> this is a good call right here mm -hmm. and then i don't have to run the power all the way around because it's all <laughs> oh no oh. Gotta work smarter, not harder. She's alive! <laughs> it's literally that easy. I just turned the pump on. You should see the water flowing. It's starting to fill up with water right now. And the water's going to fill up the grow bed uh, about two inches. There's the drains. As soon as the, the, the water comes up about the two, two and a half inches, it'll overflow into those drains down in the bottom of the tank. It's literally that simple. Let's go ahead and start filling the rest of this bad boy up so we can throw a plant in there. All right, make sure you give those pellets a good rinse. They are disgusting when you get them from the hydroponics store. Uh, make sure that you give it some time to cycle. So I'm running actual fish tank water through there, and I'm also going to give uh, that new system pellets from my old system. Uh, <laughs> random dial from my light and found that, so that was kind of cool. But anyways, I'm, I'm cycling my new system with pellets from my old system. That'll just give me a jump start. You can get some quick start at PetSmart or something like that. that We'll basically do the exact same thing. So uh, now that I'm getting this thing full, that tomato plant right there that's been over, I'm gonna transfer that over. And I'm also gonna add some finishing touches to make the system look better. I did not like the way the cuts worked. It, it was like, you know, negative 10 degrees out or something like that when I was cutting this thing up. So we did do it quickly, but I think these bumpers will add a little bit of insulation and make it look better at the now same time. see the shitty cutting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, it had a little bit of insulation, you can see. <laughs> All right, so at the moment, it's kind of my hodgepodge tank. Here we are about a week later, and I've dumped in, dumped in little bits of fish at a time. They're mainly my Africans that were getting picked on. Uh, I had a couple Synodonis, and uh, that was the Synodonis that was getting picked on a bit. And that blue one was the tank bully. So I gave all the babies all sorts of places to, to, to stay. And because there's no windows or anything like that, I'm just going to let all these fish grow out before I reintroduce them to my African tank. So it's serving several purposes right now. I'm really looking to connecting in my 125 suit and getting this thing to produce like crazy. All right, guys, if you found this valuable, please give me a like and subscribe. I told myself that if this video gets 10,000 views in the first six months that it's on YouTube, I will get better equipment. I have heard some of the advice. Thank you. I know I need to get better audio and video equipment. Help me do that. Just give me a like, give me a comment, share this video with a couple friends that you think it, it would find it interesting. And guys, I thank you for being part of this channel and I am so excited for the monster plans that I have moving forward. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Head on over to the channel, check out some of the other videos. I got some exciting things coming out. So go check out my video for my color changing background monster African cichlid uh, tank. It's got an arowana in there, some Oscars, Africans, super awesome. You can see my baby discus are just thriving so well. Uh, they've really taken off and the rest of the aquaponics system over here is doing great and y'all don't even know about my bare bottom underground uh, bare bottom epoxy glow-in-the-dark substrate tank yeah so the substrate is bare bottom even though it doesn't look like it it's epoxied over the top and it's glow-in-the-dark epoxy it looks really cool so head on over to the channel check out some of those I got some other things in the works and uh, guys remember let's just do it ourselves